A Volusia County man is now in custody after Daytona Beach police say he opened fire on officers in a local neighborhood. It all happened off Piccadilly Drive near Jimmy Ann Drive, not far from Westside Elementary School. New 6's Mark Lehman has the latest from the police chief. A chaotic and dangerous situation unfolding in this Daytona Beach neighborhood. Everything beginning at a home here along the street. This is also where police say there was another incident involving gunfire this weekend. It sounds a little chaotic because it is. Chief Jakari Young describing a shootout leading to an hours long standoff in Daytona Beach early this morning, something resulting in the eventual arrest of 25 year old Joseph Janes. Uh, he was armed with a rifle, which also had a flashlight attached to it. According to police, the response on Piccadilly Drive was a follow up to a fight on Sunday involving Janes and his roommate, something that ended in gunfire. The roommate was arrested for firing a shot that ended up striking the house across the street where you have an innocent elderly couple inside of that residence. Officers say they found the home empty around 1230 this morning. That's when they say Janes fired a shot from the nearby woods. He refused to drop the weapon. He actually pointed it at them, at which time we exchanged gunfire with him. No officers were hurt in the shootout, but the suspect was shot in the leg. Police locking down the area, including Westside Elementary, while trying to negotiate his surrender. That lockdown lifted after Janes was taken into custody around 730 this morning. Now, as for a motive for all of this, investigators say it's unclear at this point, but they are speaking with the suspect. Police say Janes faces several serious charges and will be booked into jail after he's treated for his injuries. In Daytona Beach, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.